Greetings and salutations, friends and comrades. I am Admiral Andre and welcome to the third part of the 5th US mission in the Transport Fever campaign. Eventually I'm going to get through all of the missions. It might just take a bit of time, but that is the plan. So, for this one, I think a good starting point is just to review the situation as it stands. And I see there is a lot of demand here in terms of passenger services between LA and San Diego, which is as expected. So, maybe we can let the clock run and just see what happens. 145, that is more than we can accommodate. I think very soon it will be time to actually double this line and get another train. It's decently covering it, but as you can see, they start piling up almost immediately again. And that is just wasted uh, opportunity, basically. Let's just see what else is happening here. I think things are going okay in terms of the passenger services other than the pile up here. Then, of course, the oil is still waiting for pickup, but the ships are on their way. And that also means very soon we'll really start to see some fuel. Eight of the fuel units has been delivered already, but uh, soon we'll get more. So it's one car at a time, but uh, I think it can handle it. If it really starts piling up here, we can always put another van or truck onto this line. It is so short. Then in Phoenix there might be an issue. You can see people are waiting all over and it is largely because they want to go to the Grand Canyon. And of course I can't blame them for that. I also want to go. So maybe if we just buy another bus here. I don't know. Do you think? No. Let's leave it. Actually, now I'm seeing they are decently covering the city. If we just have a look at our income. The Grand Canyon tour has not made any money yet, but it will. And the tour bus, of course. So uh, the city at least is making a lot of money. The city bus. It is actually one of our top earners. Very interesting, but the number one is still, of course, the LA San Diego train. So, for this uh, specific uh, video, I think the mission must now be to start working towards the LA objective, which is, of course, to deliver machines. But to get machines, we need steel. And to get steel, we need iron and coal. So, there is a conveniently located steel mill right here. But the coal and iron happen to be quite a distance away. I mean, it isn't terrible, but... A train might be a good idea for this. Then, very much related to this, one of the byproducts, of course, of uh, steel is the slag here. And slag can go into the construction materials plant to create the material to build the dam and therefore meet the Las Vegas goal. So I think a rail line will actually be the thing to do. A truck, if we connect this road here, will just take a, such a long time. But it is possible that is in fact how I did it last time. So I think let's try the train. That will be new for me. And I think in this system, the most important component must be this station. So let's put it down first. Then the trucks can take the steel to the uh, machine factory there. I don't think we need it dedicated line just for that. So a freight station, although it's just dropping stuff off, we can use a passenger one, but that literally makes no sense. It's a very rough terrain again. That is the only unfortunate thing. Maybe we should actually start here. I'm going to turn the catenaries off just because I want to see. It's probably going to be a diesel locomotive. Now, what to do here? This could work, but how will it proceed from here around, probably? Don't want to spend all our money. We do have a bit of money, but I don't want to spend all of it on tunnels just so we can get coal and iron. I mean, there isn't really a need to move that in an express fashion because this is not passengers, so... 
As long as we can move decent amounts, that will be fine. So this one can be an end station. The line that goes to the construction plant can just split off here. And as always, I think it is just good if we put the stations down first, then we know where we want to go. Otherwise we build the rail line and then we see no, it's not going to work. I think that can go. Yes, okay. It's not, uh, you know, the easiest terrain to build on, but I think we can manage it. So now I have to think, are we going to double this line? Uh, it might actually not be necessary if we can have one train that picks up both iron and coal. So let's maybe just start with one, but I do think eventually we need to double it. As long as the speeds are relatively decent. In the 80s at least, I would hope. Then uh, I think we can manage. It's going to be a bit of a bend here. Now since we have to climb up again, maybe we can... Uh, but if we do that now, it's going to be a bridge. But maybe that's okay, it's not too expensive. And then hopefully this will go smoothly. Oh, it's fine. Good speeds as well. Excellent. So again, we work with the terrain instead of against it, building massive tunnels and things. There is, of course, a value in doing that. But uh, I think in this day and age, in terms of the scenario, we need to save money. Then somehow we're going to have to snake down here, but there will be some landscaping involved. That's not going to go smoothly. And following the road is possible, but to an extent we can't turn as quickly as the road can. I'm just thinking, so we have to go down a lot here actually. So that is a tunnel, unfortunate, but I guess this is really a case where it's pretty unavoidable. Although, that said, so this is 1.3 million. Let me just run on slow speed. We do have a time limit, so it is just something to keep in mind. If we actually go up to this level and we then track along the side of this mountain and just come down gently, it might actually work. So again, in this case, I'm not worried about the station. So let's see if that will actually work as I'm hoping. Of course, crossing here is not the easiest thing to do. And it does create this terrible bump in the road. That's a bit better. Okay, let's take that and see if we can run with it. Something like that, perhaps. So here we do come into a bit of a problem in terms of the bridges. And then we're really back where we started because either a tunnel or a bridge, it has the same relative expense, I think. So we really need to bend earlier. Oh yes, there we go. That's nice and gentle. Hopefully we can keep that up. Maybe again on the side here. I think there is still some value in this. I always used to love with the Railroad Tycoon 3 to try and build the rails along with the landscape so we don't get these huge earthworks just because I really like that challenge. So this kind of reminds me of that. 
that is not gonna work so well so here we do have a problem what if I put it here hmm I can always put it down here somewhere but now I'm thinking about my own advice about not putting down the tracks before you put down the station in case there's trouble oh it will be fine in fact hold the hold the phone hold the phone let me take this road actually and uh, I'm going to build a bridge there just again this is almost just for the engineering sake of it really but because there is a bit of unevenness here it will actually look a bit nicer I think so this needs to now somehow meet up here while still connecting that kind of works maybe a bit further back although this thing can lie like we saw in Panama that is not gonna work so we have to take it a bit further back and no problem yes there is certainly some slowdown here but by that time they're already at the station so there we are just uh, is this a single or double this is a single yes just have to match the road so we can kind of link it like that and see if it's possible to build a nice bridge here there is a bit of an issue so to solve that I think the best thing would be to just sort of build straight out here like that ah that works of course with the second track we might have some problems but I think we still can get away with it there we go so all the main connections are fixed again and is there anything else so we've got all the stations that we need right now and again at the beginning I don't think it's really wise for us to have two trains running here one for just coal and one just for iron because still half of the time they'll be running empty and I don't think it's going to be as profitable maybe I'm wrong but eventually we can always expand it now is it possible to bend out oh no what am I doing no 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 I really love this game it is a form of therapy I'm convinced just relaxing and playing that still looks nice as long as it makes sense and this isn't like terribly overlapping there you can see the gravel is starting to eat into the other rail because it's lower but it's still fine then this shouldn't be a problem ah perfect so of course they'll just stop here first and I think while we're at it let's just build the truck station even if this is the only thing we do in this episode I'll be very happy because this is a major thing and at least it will also be a very good money maker because it can be expanded so in that case perhaps we can then demolish the station and put a one that continues on to San Diego or somewhere but the trucks can do that also but anyway no that needs to go from the machine factory not from here not gonna be shipping steel to San Diego so that is connected okay let's just put the line up quickly no this one so new line first stop is here Los Angeles North then I think let's go straight to the iron then we stop at the coal and then we go home so I'll just call this iron coal no what have I done good so we need a reasonably powerful locomotive for this although that said it is coming down the mountain when it's in no, when it's full but going up when it's empty so I think that will compensate and luckily the rest of the line is relatively level there is some gradient but it is smoothed a little by the bridges and so on so let's just see what the options are because uh, we are of course quite broke right now no diesel yet ah that is unfortunate this one would seem to be the obvious choice it is very powerful but it is equally powerfully expensive
I wonder if we do that it might as well just be uh, good enough to take the Milwaukee one, the electric one. Of course the whole line needs to be electrified now, but it pretty much, it's not quite as powerful, but it pretty much matches it and it's a little bit cheaper as well per year and for the full price. So I'm wondering, because I think 3000 would be good. I have no idea how many kilowatts we'll need, but 1000 won't do. 700 won't do, so it has to be one of these two. That costs 8 million. Maybe this wasn't the best idea. Hmm. We need to start making some more serious money and quickly. What's happening with the fuel? It's still working on it, but it's only two trips left. It's, it's making good progress. Nothing. Okay, so it needs new input there. Could always be a good idea to just put more ships onto this thing. But they will take a while to pay out. And you see, for the most part, these are loss-making enterprises because they have one payday in a few years. So we really only want them because we need the oil. But I bet you this one is looking good right now. It is slowly filling up. Oh yes, I think we need some more buses. Canyon tour bus. Just because the people are waiting here the whole time and they could rather be paying us. Might actually be a good idea to get three, just because it will future-proof it a little bit. So of course they will space themselves out and it is an extremely short journey, but the people will not walk this. They are dependent on the line. So there we are, let's see. Hmm. There is certainly demand here, it's already 46 again. And the money will come in, but it's just a case of waiting. Now, I think once before we might have taken out a loan, I can't remember. Or like those grants that they give us, because I can't take out a loan. And that's not a medal, right? No, so we can take all of those. So let me actually just start buying some thinking now. If I can start buying some of these gondolas, they're the same thing, really. Iron and coal. But they cost so much money and if I start buying this they may give us that last grant. But I don't know if that will be enough to pay for the engine. Probably not. We might have to settle for a cheaper one just to get started. Could be. Hmm. Anyway, I think before we get into that let me just put the line up here for the vehicles. Transport people. Hey, so the canyon mission is done and we have landing permissions in Phoenix, Arizona. So that's a good thing already. We don't have a... Ah. Oh well, that's easily solved. I just need to get a truck stop here. Just like that. I know it sort of cuts off that road now, but they have this area to grow as well. So, let's just continue that thing quickly. Line 1. And add station. There. There we go. So that will just be, I'll just say steel. It's the only steel line we'll have. And then, we can just put one vehicle on this so long. Just so that the whole thing starts activating and the game senses, okay, there is a need for steel. Then we can have another one that will ship to the end product somewhere here. But that we can take care of in a while. So steel, which one is that? We still only have the max. Steel, there we go. So just, oh, okay, just say two then. 
just changed my mind there. So they will just start running back and forth. Ah, it's so nice to see one of the airports actually active. Only have the old airplanes at the moment, but that is part of the campaign, so I really want to hurry up with this, getting at least one more. And I think the next one that will go is San Diego, and that will be a very profitable flight, because people want to go to the canyon again. Uh, okay, so, this, this thing now, it has to just start working, that's the thing. So even if I have to sell this again, it's okay. We just take the one that's affordable. I guess the Atlantic. But that is so unfortunate. But okay, just take it and let's just Good get going. Gracious. We're spending money like there's no tomorrow. Just this once. Our financial backers are willing to turn a blind eye and help us out once again. But this is definitely the last time. So that's it. Four million, which is of course not enough for the full, you know, the expensive engine. So I think this was a good plan to just get started. Now I just actually can leave it on automatic because it will pick up. No, but I think maybe actually I shouldn't because maybe then it will pick up only iron or something. And by the time it gets to the coal, it's full. So let's control this a bit better. Iron and coal. Iron. Just want to keep them balanced. One more. That will just get it started now. Then what we can also do actually is put another car onto this train eventually to pick up slag here and take it all the way up to the iron station perhaps and then have another train only doing that distance. Then we don't even have to double this line because they won't be sharing the same line and we don't have to have a train go all the way from here to up there. They can just keep running here. That makes a lot of sense I think. Let's have a look at this beast. Although it's not as beastly as I would have liked but it will do for now. Looking forward to some paydays from this one. And it goes a decent speed and it seems to be picking up more speed, so I'm happy with that. Again, the full one is on the way down, so gravity will help us a bit. So let's paint this thing. Something coal would just be black and of course iron has that sort of reddish color. What, what about black? Oh, that does look nice. Of course, it would be a nightmare because the paint would keep chipping on the uh, cars there, the gondolas, because the iron and coal would just keep eroding it off. But anyway, what does that say? Flush floor, drop bottom. Ah, okay. Interesting. You see, you always learn something new in this game. Details. So it is already producing, that's great. Let's take a trip. 82 now, you see it is going at decent speed, so I'm glad. And this is slightly uphill, which means when it's full of iron, it's slightly downhill. Lovely bridge here, love the sound effects going around the bend. Almost there. Couldn't get out now. There we go. So what do we get to start off with? 21 and we've got 36. So it's almost already at the capacity. And by the time it gets back, I'm sure it will have passed the capacity. Now these uh, farms here actually don't serve any purpose in the campaign itself. That's the obvious thing. You might think, oh, okay, Santa Barbara has a mission, but that one was the poker table. And we still need 5 million bucks just to get in on that game. But uh, this has no purpose in that. 
but I think it is a decent money maker anyway. Santa Barbara is probably the smallest place on the map except maybe Las Vegas. No, Las Vegas which they call the Sleepy Village is even bigger than that. But then again, they said an earthquake happened here. So at least 33. Maybe we can put a truck service on this. Just to get it started, a train line here right now won't make much sense, but certainly trucks. So food needs to go to the commercial district. A small one will be just fine. That basically covers the whole thing, but now can I put it there and just extend the road or will it not cover it anymore? I'll try it anyway. Maybe if I rotate it just a bit. Okay, and now just even the smallest street, that would be fine. Ah, oh, and then it has to demolish anyway. But okay, that is relatively cheap, so let's rather stick with that. And it covers the whole thing. Great stuff. So that's sorted out. Just the uh, vehicle depot, I think. Anywhere, really. There we go. Then where is the first one? So we've actually got two farms and one processing plant, which does mean that this thing could feed the whole map. But then again, that will require the setting up of the whole infrastructure. Not that that's bad, it's just going to take a bit of time to get the money for that. So this one, I think we can just preemptively put a bigger truck stop on this one. That is a bit of landscaping, but that's okay. Ah, and there comes the uh, diesel now. So maybe then we'll replace the Atlantic with that. And the Ford Model 77 is certainly a step up from the previous Mac AC. I think at this point we're just going to use the one farm. Of course one would be sufficient anyway because it just keeps up with the demand. So we'll say this goes from here to here. So maybe just one or so trucks would be enough there. I'll just say food. No. Uh, say grain and livestock. So we'll have one for each I think. Then the other line is the food line or at least the Santa Barbara food line, so we don't confuse it with anything else later on. Then I think just to set us up well, we need to upgrade this road. It's not going to be uh, allowing the Ford to run at maximum speed. So yes, it does cost a bit, but I think this is worth it because it is quite a long road. But should be a very scenic one. Ah, oh. can't do it. Won't allow me. You see, it meets the corner there. Well, then I'll just have to delete it. But now this isn't working either. There we go, it's always a way around a problem. And that's fine. Just this part now. So, hey, and that solved that one as well for some reason, but not this one. So, you are next. Ah, well. We can get it close and then just use a smaller one. They'll have to slow down there, but oh well, can't be helped. Then let's see, just that one. There we go. So it's a decent road, at least. I would say it's fitting for the Ford. 
So let's put a couple on this uh, just to get started I would say. So this carries 9 and has a top speed of 40. So maybe it wasn't even necessary to upgrade the road. But anyway, preemptively. The other one is 30 and carries 8. So the Ford is the way to go. So we'll say one livestock and one grain. And then this goes on to the grain and livestock line. And then let's put five of them onto the Santa Barbara one for food. There we go. So it will take a while to get here. So even though it has this very low demand of only 32, it still, I think, won't be a problem. Have you dropped off something? Oh, yes, you have. Fantastic. So now we need to take the second part of our plan. First thing, actually, is just to get a Ford onto this thing to carry some steel. Two of them, maybe. Don't want that piling up. Now it is to the final customers that we turn. Hmm. So they're mostly concentrated here. The first license is in the bag. Now we're ready to start our airmail operations. The Postmaster General is highly inclined to grant us further licenses. What the good man doesn't need to know, however, is that as the state pays us according to the weight we transport, all we need to do is send enough thick advertising brochures for our own company to every household. And the whole business will start paying dividends. Junk mails never made anyone so happy. So there we get into our, let's just say, less than ethical business practices again. But I am so game for that. So let's do it. But I think that will be for the next episode. Right now we just need to create this truck stop and just get one or two trucks going on it. So it's just set up for for the future here. Maybe somewhere like that. We're not going to cover everything here. It is spread out quite a lot. But as long as we get this area. So I really would like to demolish as little as possible of it actually. Let's just try our luck. Not gonna get away with just one. Oh well. Don't have well slope. Uh, two buildings, so we lose either way. But anyway, let's just try that and see what what we cover. Oh, it's still most of it. That's fine. So it will basically go from there all the way through here. In terms of traffic, that is less than desirable, but it's the most direct route. We can always put a bus lane up. Even though it's not a bus, it still allows our company vehicles to get priority. This is machines, and we're going to put three on this one, I think, for now. Oh, there's not even a line yet. You to you. Just say LA machines since we can send machines elsewhere. And I think that sets us up for the next episode. Again, I want to try and watch the time length here. Don't want to make them too long. It's already a problem with my Kerbal uh, series. So yes, the next thing then is just to really monitor the food here, but it's already producing. So that's another source of income. And then, of course, this one probably just needs to become a diesel train that will also ship slag to up there. What is this called? Las Vegas West. And then another train or maybe even trucks to take the slag over to the factory. And that will mean that apart from the 5 million one, we're working on all of them. And we already have a route now. So next episode, we're going to get into some airplanes and uh, unethical or at least questionable business practices of shipping our own flyers all over the place and getting paid for it. But who can argue against that? So see you next time and have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching.